previously on the legendary Starfy. And, no, I'm not gonna do that. Let's go and take a dive instead. This is the level where we not only get mine carts, but also the double jump. Or the air jump, as this game calls it, but it's just a double jump. Oh, they're sopping down through the caves. My bell is flopping. I could buy you in the windstorm. Sonic game. Uh, good luck with the later ones. Sonic 1 is like the only one that is actually really good. Waka 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 waka. rich anyway, so it would be pointless. She did just see that. She did shit out just... She did shit out gems. I would not be surprised if they kept that as a pet. These currents are a joke. And I already found the exit in like less than 10 seconds. Oh, there's treasure somewhere. Oh, hey, Face Palmer. Yeah, that is exactly what they said. Uh, he's neither a star or a starfish. Well, what is he then? He's certainly a star shaped something. I'm going to time Jax out because he smells bad. Don't worry, it's only for like a minute. <laughs> and that's what you get for being cringe. Oh, 
Oh, hey there, Soshi. Oh, there's a treasure chest. a long way, and there's still so no sign of Shuriken. Oh, I'm pretty sure something bad happened to her in, like, the next level. Hello, not Armani. Oh, shh. Oh, it's one of these levels. An auto-scroller. Hey, it's kind of like Flappy Bird, but with a star. Swimmy star. And curiosity killed Tom Cat Packer. Oh, speak of the devil, there he is. Rickety Ride. Here's our first minecart level in the Starfy game. Dun 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 I bet those goonsters use one of those to get ahead of us. Dun 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 bum 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 dun 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 I would definitely say Mallow. I mean, most of the stuff that happens in this game is always because of Starfy. Then again, Mo has literally dealt with Starfy on all five of his adventures. I think this is where I get my treasure, right? Yep, it's right smack dab in my face. we get our secret door. Oh, this is Kitana. I think she, I think she only appears in these, uh, these little mini games. I was gonna give her a pirate voice, but I didn't really feel like doing that. Also, here we just have to survive till the end.
Ah, crap. I literally just fought you earlier. Shut up. Maybe they thought that Starfy's design, the uh, Starfy's Starfy 5 design didn't seem too Japanese for them. I don't know. I mean, they did, they did say that uh, Starfy was too Japanese for American players, I guess. Oh, there it is. It's literally right there in front of me. Ah, that sucks to hear, Soshi. digging or spinning.
You know, Jax, I agree. Get hashtag give us a new Starfy game. The one time where you don't say something that's cringe. Get ready to ronk. Ah, uh, yep, this is the level where we get our double jump. <clears throat> I know how this thing goes. Oh yeah, we have to get the switches first. I would have to say the uh, the magic ring in the original Tom and Jerry movie. As our little reward, we get the switch. Oh yeah, we get that in the ne in the next world. Ronk again. Finally got, finally wrong gotcha. Wow, we're on the third, we're on the third level of world 
five and we're already getting a boss battle? Huh. Neat. It's really easy to speedrun this boss, but this is how you're supposed to do it. Wow, he has a walking animation? That's pretty funny. Hit. That's all I had to say about the Genesis game. This is pretty much the second boss of this game uh, of this world. For some reason. Mario Kart Arcade GP on the SNES Mini. Honestly, that would be really, really impossible to pull off. It would be so awesome to have, though. Get away, you overgrown beach ball! Just keep firing until you get them down. They're not going to have any more bombs to throw. See? And down they go. Ah, our cannon is overheating. It's going to blow at the deck. Oh yeah, I heard about that, Soshi.
Alert, 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 warning, 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 alert, alert, alert. Worst game for each console? I mean, it needs more time to think about that. But for the NES, it's definitely the lost levels. A strange twist. The whole time, Bunston was from another planet? Busy plummeting to the ground, Starfy and Moe didn't have time to be surprised. They were falling towards the sea, a sea of rainbows. Would they ever f find all the shards, the missing pieces to Bunston's ship? Find out in the next... <laughs> no. Trouble was brewing. What? Not yet? They don't have him? Uh, Lord Master, sir, according to the message, S Snips, Ronks, and Pipes say he's in a place called Puffsop, sir. Uh, don't eat me, please. Puffsop? Never heard of it. Sounds stupid. Fluffy. You! Give me more carrot nibblers, now! I'll show the prince who's in charge. Uh, uh, sir. To one other tiny thing, sir. I don't try to hurt me. I was thinking, uh, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. It's not very nice. You question me? Listen up, no nugget. Strength is everything. And power is strength. So is so power is everything too, I guess. Whatever, I have the power to take over this galaxy. Once Bunsen is mine, I will be invincible. And that and won't that be fun? Prince Bunston, if you value your precious planet, you will bow down before me. And if not, kiss your home goodbye. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Sky Die Heights. Hey, Super Mario Brothers, the channel. Oh yeah, I I, I was uh, paying attention to that on Twitter. Oh my God, he completely animated this whole thing himself. Jesus Christ! Ding 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 ding. There's our hero Mario. Oh, that's good, Daisy, but I'm sorry, bro. I feel 
days ago. I broke into your home and so now it's Chateau Wario. Ugh, <coughs> oh, Jesus. I'll, I'll watch it later. For now, I'm playing the legendary Starfree. Wario won't be relevant until the third game. Oh, and we had to feed these guys clouds. Until he explodes. That's like the exact opposite of those freaking bubble fish enemies. I think at this, by this point, we get a new uh, transformation. Yep, I was all right, right here. <laughs> the Roostar. But um. Oh, that's gonna become annoying. But we practically need it. <laughs> yeah, probably, so she... <laughs> I missed. Oh, I missed. Dun 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 dun.
Wow, it's Cupid. Nothing, Backer. Nothing would happen if Starfy was an actual star. <laughs> End of the rainbow. Whoa, it is? Honestly, I thought it was just a fan game. Oh yeah, this is where we get to see Ruby in this game. Hey, Starfy, come meet a... a this is Ruby. That's it. Starfy, meet the beautiful... <laughs> meet the beautiful Ruby. Oh yeah, we have to use bells. This is pretty much this game's equivalent of that bear costume I had in the first game. You know, the one that goes... I missed! the water droplet to heal them up. And I think it's after this they end up having their redemption arc. Ruby should took care of you clowns while you are hurt. Skedaddle. <laughs> See, creepy ass fangirl has no talent. Mo doesn't like me at all. 
I, I hate how I still remember that one piece of art. I am so glad that I presumably lost media now. Ah, now we get to the star spin that goes ultra. Seriously, the more I play this game, the more that these time uh, level titles become more like anime titles. <coughs> yeah. Some people wanted this thing to be on the up, uh, Starfy's up special for Smash. I had different ideas. What game am I looking forward to tomorrow? I'm not even done with Yoshi's Island DS yet. <coughs> That's what I plan on doing tomorrow. Finishing, uh, this game in Yoshi's Island DS. Though the latter might be streamed on Saturday because I'm pretty much going to be done with this game at this point. game that I ever played. I'm probably gonna get murdered for saying this, but Donkey Kong 94 Remix. Now, the game, the fan game itself is pretty awesome, but what's bad about it is the controls and the physics and the hit detection. I honestly can't even describe it with words. what they're called. Oh, hey, what about? Thank you. 
it's honest to god hard to get a single game over in any of the Starfy games. Unless if you just have a genuine skill issue, which is definitely not me. I've been playing these games for years. Yo, I run when I get dizzy? That's funny, actually. Yeah, those are all definitely in Mario Party. I swear, I, I feel like I'm uh, King of Skill combined with freaking Vernius's luck, which is absolute dog shit, bro. And I actually like Vernius. Except that Pwn minigame that was- that is ri- No, that is an- That is an absolute skill issue on your end. I mean, the fact that I did absolutely nothing on that one, pretty much shows. I'm too hot to touch! How many do I have to do? Ten? There's also that flag mini game where me and Soshi lost like immediately. Don't even get me started on chance time. Though, Vernie, uh, I did learn a thing or two from Vernius, how to count, and it actually worked. a secret world, and now, um, damn, what else was I supposed to do, aside from beat this level?
Snips and tricks, snips and tricks, snips, snips and tricks. I always sing that whenever I hear the Sky Die Heights map theme. But yeah, now we fight Snips. I, every time I think of the terrible trio in this game, I always think, hmm, these are like the Team Rocket of the bunch, but themed after rock, paper, scissors. How fitting, actually. Hello, Logan. So she's literally doing a video on my SNES mini lineup. Why would you guys think for a second that you guys would be involved in it? Aside from me and uh, Tom. Starfy! Ruby was... She was gobbled up by that fluffy you know! I just freaking carry her. Da -da -da -da. Is it the one where it's like they're Mario, Yoshi, Luigi, and Mario are in the or in the bomb battlefield? Because I think I might have seen that one. I have a feeling that this leads to yep treasure. This room is just a tr just a way to get treasure. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Chat disconnected. Please wait where we try. All right.
Yeah, probably. I've barely had that happen before, but it could be worse, Soshi. The, the stream could have immediately ended for no reason at all, like it did on my Kirby, Land, Kirby Dream Land 3 stream. I kind of want to remake my SSK-specific Pac-Man party animation that I did, but at the same time, I don't want to release it for obvious reasons. Just have it as unlisted or something. Oh yeah, I still need to remake that one video that you did. Forget about it. <laughs> oh yeah, SS log water. Oh. Wait, how did you? Is what I would be saying to a specific someone in my brawl stream. Oh wait, I did. And he said it was disrespectful to say that to him. What kind of logic is that though? Shut up, Meg. Yo, I need to make that a meme at some point. I need to make a video of that. I'm surprised I have it at this, at this point. Because it would actually be fitting. Anyways, for Snips, all we have to do is wait for her to launch the bombs and send them right back at her. Shut up, Redacted. <laughs> got ourselves another shard. All we need is like one more. 
After a stinging defeat, Snips, Ronk, and Papes return to their ship to regroup. But the boss, if we don't follow orders, he'll crunchify us and smushifies us. Disheartened, Snips, Papes, and Ronk sat on the spaceship and grumbled about their miserable situation. Meanwhile, Starfy and his friends knew he had to act on the info Snips accidentally sl let slip. So the three adventurers head for the shipwreck. I think it's at that point where I actually have to switch my controller to the classic controller because after the fourth, after the fourth, bo uh, the after I fight the terrible trio, it ends up becoming a game of rock paper scissors. Also, this place is haunted. I can't believe how flawless that was. I managed to get on top of that part without even touching a single bumper. I honestly don't even know what's going on in the chat, but I think I'm better off not giving a crap. Yes, Paku. This is supposed to be a fun stream where we're streaming Starfy games. Well, only one, that is. I want to kill these ghost enemies because if you don't, then uh, they explode in your face. I'm not making that up, by the way. Oh, shit. Yes, it was. I completely forgot that deodorant was right there. <laughs> uh, how silly of me. That was embarrassing. Ah, oh, it's this mofo. I don't know if Mario 2 would get an improved ROM hack. Well, 
It actually kind of did. I saw one ROM hack that uh, changed the music to sound like the Super Mario Brothers All-Stars hack. I mean, this Super Mario All-Stars. <laughs> Ooh. I can't believe I did that on my first try, too. Oh, I remember that guy. He usually never dies. Nice, Starfy. You open the door. Ah, we get another uh, we get another stone. <clears throat> star fright. This star might be coming really really strong with all these uh power stones. We now get to become a ghost. I might try to get Pac-Land TurboGrafx-16 working on here. Oh yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, it honestly kind of sucks how uh, the TurboGrafx-16 Mini doesn't have Pac-Land. Though, from what I remember, it released on May 22nd, 2020. Hilariously enough, on Pac-Man's 40th anniversary, which I consider the worst anniversary for a, for a video game icon of all time. Kind of ironic. And they didn't even add Pac-Land on there. I guess it's because Ms. Pac-Man was involved in it, but come on. That's like having a Nintendo 64 mini console and not including a single Mario game. Sure, modding is a thing, but still... Shooting star. Hilariously enough, this ends up becoming uh, more powerful than the star spin itself, especially on Ronk and Mash Tooth. Me, dogfish. I I saw that strange shiny stone fall right in here with me own eyes. Yeah, Mario's 35th anniversary was actually a lot better. I mean, at least he actually had some games and didn't have to deal with his wife having to deal with legal shenanigans. Granted, Mario isn't even actually married, but still.
funny how I have to use like three star spins to take this guy down, but I can easily just use the shooting star and they'll be gone, gone in a second. Super Mario All-Stars versus Museum Plus versus Sonic 1 GBA. Why Sonic 1 GBA of all things? Oh yeah, let me show you what happens. Uh, I didn't have enough time to react. They were literally at the bottom of the screen. Alright, now I'll show you. Yeah, they explode in your face. Literally. Museum Plus obviously wins. And now that you mention All Stars, remember when they literally re released a SNES game on a Wii on the Wii disc with no changes whatsoever? Not it's not even the Super Mario World bundle either. In the wise words of AVGN, what were they thinking? No, seriously, what were they thinking when they were doing Mario's 25th anniversary? I think it was the 25th, I believe. Yeah, it was, actually. Yeah, SMB 330th was definitely the best. That's when we got Mario Maker. I still prefer Mario Maker 1 over 2. Probably most likely because of the, the... The costumes. I mean, freaking Starfy is in it. Why would I choose Mario 2... Uh, Mario Maker 2 over it? When I... Freaking Starfy is a... Costume. Oh yeah, didn't they like shut the service down for it or something? Yeah, they, they did have a better level editor. I'm not used to the one in Mario Maker 2. I literally just saw this cutscene. Oh, never mind. Yeah, he won't be in a good mood. Oh! Yo, that bottom screen is definitely a live reaction moment. Where have you been? Where's Bunston? Yeah, what we're doing is wrong. What we're doing is wrong. That's literally what this is. What? You question me? Listen up. Power is strength. Strength is everything. I'll give you my mucus brains one more chance. You mess this up and I'll squeeze you like puff 
pastry. Ah, yes, Mega Snark. Oh look, an actual treasure. Mini G's challenge number three. Death charge. Oh, I can't even do that. On this thing, anyway. Trying to play a single mini game on here sucks. The only thing that's possible is the one where you shoot the coins. But even then, I can't even do that either. We have Mega Snark. <sighs> Any subtle movement that you make will result in him trying to eat you. Yeah, did you see that? That's the Mega Snark that the belt monkey monkeys were talking about. There might be something good in here, so... This is literally the Stranded Whale. Oh, it's this level again. Do this like two more times.
Now to get back outside. Never die. Like, never. <laughs> that was way too close. Ah, oh, great. It's one of these. It's one of these parts again. Distinguished wig. That will be good enough.
We're on the fourth level already? Damn. The trio returns. <laughs> Let's go, we got the last shard. However, we get eaten up by the freaking snark. Actually, no, that gets eaten up by the snark. The mega shark. There's a hidden door at this rate. Right about, yep, yeah, right here. Color splash is something that I am not too familiar with. Other than the fact that I know that King of Skill hates it. Loot Shuffle. Oh, this is in incredibly easy. Dude, you were that easy. Funnily enough, in your first appearance, you were basically just a common en enemy. We pretty much have to get eaten by Mega Snark at this rate. The shard. Oh, wow. That was just a lucky guess. I can imagine him making fun of the errors that are made. Or the him doing impressions of some of the ghosts. Or making some sort of joke about... Uh, the redacted company. I almost slipped out of my tongue. Oh, and there's a treasure trash smack dab in my face. Prepare for 
trouble. Make it double. Kind of like the thumbnail, and I'm not letting this play through. Damn, they become <laughs> they become pussies once they're all together now. Why would they jump out the screen? The door is literally right there. Because the second that we start finishing this level is when they start fighting back. saved here. Oh yeah, now I have to use my classic controller now. This part actually isn't too hard when you figure out the pattern here. It also sucks that my classic controller has a, such a short ass cord. See this thing moving right? That's the stylus. Paper, cut, crusher battle. Oh, and look what I can do with the ZR button. If you pay attention on the top screen, two of which will jump to will jump. And the last one will uh, show up, and that's where you know.
Do it again. Do it again. Now I have to switch my controller out again. Because I won't need it for the rest of the game. God, fuck this classic controller. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, but they'll probably have to eat a big shame sandwich. Mash tooth. I feel like I should be narrating this part, but eh, it's too late. In the distant corner of space, far from the cloudy lands of Puff Top, planet Manira. The pe the people of this planet, the Manirin. Venerans have a mysterious ability. They could shape shift. They use this power all the time. It was just part of their daily lives. Yo, it would be pretty dank if you cook with fire. Like all Venerans, Prince Bunsen was born on this planet. Long ago, Bunsen's father, the king. The king had a vision of the future. When his, bu when his son Bunston was born with a powerful gift, the king foresaw a day when his son would use his power to protect the planet of Venera. Many years passed until one day, the dreaded space, pa space pirate Mashtooth heard a word of the Venera's amazing power. He came to steal it for himself. <laughs> I knew it! These Benerans, they're stuffed with it. Delicious power. But to dominate the galaxy and become the strongest, I need more. You! See these floppy eared squeaky toys? Which one has the most power? Lord Mustard, sir. Uh, maybe that prince, sir. Prince Bunston. Excellent. Find him. Bring him to me. Soon, I will be the strongest force the galaxy has ever seen. <laughs> Oh, you mean snips? I think it's because it's just the because of the bunny ears. I think these are all just a compilation of each one of them. These 
snack sized Venerans. They've given me a lot of power, but I want more. To be the strongest, I need to inhale the power of their pathetic leader, Prince Bunston. Who's. What's taking so long? Where's Bunston? Yeah, Bowser's voice. That's the one I was going for, and not from the one for the cartoon. Unless if I'm playing Mario 2. Get him, you fools! Bring Bunston to me! Alert, 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 warning, 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 alert, alert, alert. Can we get on with the damn game? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Very good, Prince. Would you like a carrot? I have already absorbed the power of those other puny Veneerans. Really? Oh no! Well... <coughs> Fuck, I should have had a glass of water before doing this. Damn it. I should just abandon my plan and take over another galaxy, huh? Oh shit! Oh, they're fucking dead, bro. At least I won't have to do this for Yoshi's Island DS. We've been no nothing but da danger since we met back in 2002. Plus, me and Starfy have been have been here clobbering knuckleheads for a long time. Again, back in 2002. Yo, I love this music, by the way.
Finally, all of the shards have been found and Bunston should feel relieved. But his planet was in grave danger. Starfeed friends blasted off to defeat the muscle-headed space pirate Mastu. Their destination? Planet Banero. Despite this being the final world, I still have to deal with one more, one more world. Starfy in the sky. Ah yes, the moon jumping. Oh, there you are. That's weird. I thought I saw you just up ahead. you, Faker! Faker, I think you're the fake starfish around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! <laughs> you're not even good enough to be my- I'll make you eat those words! There's your Sonic Adventure 2 reference, guys. And no, I surprisingly haven't. I might as well do it right after I'm done playing this game. It's so good. And while you're at it, you might as well try out the, the legendary Starfy Origins for the Game Boy Advance. Which is literally the first game translated to Japanese, my ass.
Yeah, I don't know exactly what part about these games are too Japanese for American players. Maybe it's the lore? Oh, sh How is there fire in space? My pleasure. The the Benirans gather energy from nature, from nature, forest, oceans, fire, and water. All I did was give Bunsen the firepower. <coughs> I'm afraid to say almost all of them have been captured. No, there's still time, but Master the Swarm strong with the people he took from your people. My son is working on the Cosmic Express as we speak. Come on, I'll introduce you to him. Oh, it's Bully Goat. I'm pretty sure there's a treasure chest hidden somewhere in one of these doors. Yep, there it is. I know, BC Wendell, Japan always gets the good shit, bro. Like the Klonoa, like the Klonoa merch that they had. And uh, also these games. And the Mother 3 uh, plushies. So Europe has the best version of Arcade Mario Brothers. Forgot to mention that too. Oh, and there's another hidden uh, secret door. Count how many ghosts there are. Thank you. 
Oh, it's Bully Goat again. And another treasure chest! I swear, it's always... It's always the one with the Bully Goat. Give me my money. Oh, finally, we're at the express. Oh my god, bro. Uh, but, uh, hold... Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on a second. I, I'm still working on something. Uh, that's odd. If it hits this... If it hits this switch here, the train will start moving. What's the matter, son? Can't you get it started? Uh, hey, Dad. I'm just to overhaul... I'm just overhauled the engines. Everything seems to be working normally. I'm not even going to question how you even managed to get out the door. Oh, so, uh, insert that nerd music when I did Junior's voice, future me, when I eventually edit this. Aha, we're moving. You did it, Dad. Never, never should have bought those part discount parts. Oh, well, we're taking off. Hold on, everyone. Next stop, Bunsen Satchel. Photos Cosmic Express is done. Fantastic! Uh, I've got this train running smoother than ever. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Express. My name is Junior, by the way. You know, Moto, my dad, of course. Sophie, you can just relax now. This train's in first class. We'll be there in no time. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Can I move the... Oh, crap. That's right. Close. Master's pirates are attacking the train. This could... This could be a bit of a problem. Weapons? You mean like cannons and lasers, right? Yeah, we don't have those. This is a luxury train. I'm just here for the treasures and that's it. Not in this room. Bro, it's always the bully goats.
See, what did I tell you? Get a door or a secret door. Better head down, mesh. Uh, wait, fuck. Uh, mesh. Mesh, who's minion? Ah, uh, fuck. I can't even do his voice anymore. Damn it. part is pretty much important if I don't uh I got it use your star spin to deflect the use your star spin to deflect the rocks hopefully the rocks aren't too big go if I don't then this thing comes down and it's game over One piece. Great work, Prince of Puff Top. Now you ship back in because we're pulling to our destination right now. Good luck, everyone. I hope that you, I hope you save whenever from Matthews. Please return safely, Prince Bunston. Oh, 
Oh no, we're too late! We're not too late! They're, they're still alive! Monster, take it easy, pal! Never, I didn't know Bunsen never knew his folks. Yeah, um, Mo also doesn't have his mom and dad around. His mother died of illness and his dad sacrificed his life to save his son. Uh, the former happened in the second game and the latter happened in the third. Yeah, this game isn't Sunshine and Rainbows, kid. Ah, uh, folks. God damn it, it's you again. There's two of them! I'd play the secret levels, but this stream is by I might prolong the stream by doing it. Mash tooth, mash tooth, last stand. Ah, oh, fuck! The trap of enemies. They first made their appearance in Starfy Two, but damn, they're a nuisance here. And in Starfy too. Yep, yeah, that's pretty much what they are, a red Pac-Man. Oh, crap. Pretty sure there's a there's a treasure chest somewhere in this area. Or maybe it's in the next one. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's a good way to the. Uh, that's a good way to grind for pearls. 
this is where the hidden door is. Oh, actually, no, that's where the treasure is. Actually, I think the, the door is a lot higher. Ugh, stairs. If only you could backwards long jump on them. But hey, Starfy doesn't seem tired running up the stairs. Ah, there it is. Starfy, wait! I mean, there are soldiers trapped up there. Oh my god. Not just yet. Even after this final boss, there's one more world I have to do, and that's after I beat this game. Oh, and you brought some friends. How adorable. The mysterious powers you of your weakling benevolence. The power of each and every one of your carrot munchers is mine, except yours, Bunston. From completely taking over everything, now I can finish the job and eat some real food. Your powers are no nothing to me except for a good snack. What? It won't? Oh well, then I should just go home at that way. Yes, it will. I'm evil. I'm gonna win. Down there? Down where? Stop confusing me. Enough talk. Come on, Bunston. I've been waiting. This is the part where we fuse and, of course, he has a freaking shield. Which does absolutely nothing. We pretty much have to die here. What's the point of this? No, 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 no! See that? Wigglings! Still dare to dis resist me, little pointy kid. Now here comes the actual fight.
We... We did it? But it's not over yet, folks. Not over yet. Come on now. If only I could inhale Bunsen's power, I'll be unstoppable. Oh my god, I forgot about this part. Bunsen! That's right, folks. He literally fucking eats him. I mean, what about Dig Dug? He's inside that thing. He's in Master's belly. Yes, hurt me. And hurt your pr puny prince friend too. Now, you two, you're next. Starf, what do we do now? Nothing. What can you do? You face an invincible power. We're done for, Starf. It's been great knowing you. Paper Cut Crusher! It's you guys! You brainless traitors! Always has been, Snips. Hey, they don't... They, hey, they don't get steam... They don't got steam... Pink for friends after all! Get him! A spinny thing. Do it. Get up, big bro, Stiffy, Stiffy. It's all your, it's all the, the gluttony you've got. Stiffy, come on. Go for it, Star. Get up. No time for a nap. Sock him for me. All right, chat, it's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Oh shit, he's about to become a Super Saiyan. Ah, now we have to deflect this to asteroids.
Oh, come on. And he's down for the count. But not just yet. And now we get to the more infamous part of this game. And one that I am really skilled at. I like in Mario Party. <clears throat> Here we go. This game is the reason why I'm so good at this. Victory monkey noises. Starfy finally defeated the vicious space pirate Mashtooth, returning the stolen power back to the Benirans. But the, the Benirans were safe again. They cheered for Bunston. Proud of their young prince. Starfy returned, badly hurting from the battle with Mashtooth. I mean, he had freaking asteroids blasting in his face, bro. Prince Bunston, who is this? <laughs> Bunston told him the tale of his great adventure and how Starfy helped him. All four of his adventures. Oh yeah, I forgot that Donkey Kong actually slammed the moon down. The question is who did it better? The Benirans used their powers to heal Starfy's injuries. Hey, guard guys, hold it! These guys ain't exactly good eggs, but without their help, we would have been nothing but a snack in Mashtooth's belly. Can you find it in your hearts to forgive these knuckleheads? They know they messed up, so let's give them a chance to apologize. That takes some real guts. Now hold on. All that trouble you caused, we can't left you off the hook. That easy. I got it! You gotta beat Starfy in a game of rock, paper, scissors. If you can beat him, we'll cut you some slack. What do you think, Prince? That sound fair? Make me proud! Don't go easy on him, Starf!
Starfy, I'm on to you, kid. You lost on purpose. You can't fool me. That's Star for you. Good thing it all worked out. Everything's all nice and quiet again. Hey, Starf. Yeah, almost as quiet as Puff Top. Well, it's about that time. What is so we can set a course for home? Oh, and that takes care of the legendary Starfy for the main game. Huffa Huffa! The Vert Nation! Damnation! Ah, uh, he got chased off by the TC Nation. Now we're back in Puff Top. And there's Mama and Papa Star, the king and queen. Funnily enough, this is the ninth world of this game, Puff Top. So I'll say, if you, if you end up coming, making another game, please make another Starfy game. Remake it, localize it, or whatever. Big thanks from Starfy. Come and play again sometime. A new stage has been unlocked. Stage 9 Puff Top. On top of that, Sea Tunes, Toys, and Big Boss Showdown are now in Moe's case. Starfy's adventure isn't over yet. And on that note... Oh yeah, and at the end of the game, Starfy gets sunglasses. We might be home, but the game isn't over yet. I mean, the stream isn't over yet. It's at this point we now get to play star uh, levels that are exclusive to Starly. Back in Tough Top, while Starfy and his companions track down across the, the world, Starly had excitement of her own. It's been a whole decade? Jesus, I feel old. I should have just skipped the whole cutscene at this rate. Where did this little sass ball come from? You must be related to that other star kid. Yeah, that reminds me. If we don't find that guy soon. Legendary Starly. As you can see, she can low spin 
and uh, wall climb and crawl. And that's it, really. <laughs> Oh, it's one of the puff cup cards. This was an adventure that happened many, many years ago. One day, the land of puff top was sli had a, a slightly scattered young man prince dropped a jar in the sea. But this was no normal jar. Inside it sealed away an evil monster. A terrible storm rolled across the sky and violently churned the seas as well as the clouds. That is in reference to the first Starfy game, the legendary Starfy Origins. and Puff Top. I believe this has like seven levels. Might as well beat all of them uh, before ending off the stream. Which is like two minutes and almost 40 minutes long. Two hours and 40 minutes long. Fuck. I'm really loving the low spin. Yeah, so do I. At first I had no idea what the context was for each of these. I believe there's another Puff Dot God somewhere here, too.
No, I don't think you told me that, Soshi. But that's good to know. Because I'll probably watch it later. That's purely there just to grind for pearls, so no thanks. Pips. Honestly, the first two levels sounded more like anime episodes. Ah, oh, you missed. What the hell? Oh, it's Conk. From the first game. Conk, Conk, you finally Conk came. You certainly took your Conk time. Meet Conk. He likes to think of himself as a rival to Starfy, but he's really harmless, so he's more entertaining than anything else. He doesn't have anything to do with Mash Shoot or the others, and he's got a real clutch on Ruby, so he and Mo don't get along so well. No more Conk narration. My shell, my shell attack is about is going to smash Conk you into Stardust. Unlike in Starfy 1, he actually puts up a fight. He's not a complete pushover. Soshi? I kind of forgot Butch was a character in Tom and Jerry. The only way with Butch that I know is the one from the Powerpuff Girls, as one of the Rowdy Rough Boys. Yeah, these are pretty much exactly the same bosses that Starfy fought, but now in Puff Top. Okay, now he goes back into the water, but it's not going to make it any different. Wrong. 
Ah, uh, they even have these buttons from the minecart levels. Ah, there he is. Oh, this is number three. There was a baddie who was even tougher than the regular baddies. All of this sounds very familiar somehow. This is in reference to Starfy 3. He forgot to mention the fact that um, a certain yellow treasure hunter was involved. Who made micro games. Aw, oh, it's these enemies. Yeah, that's what they do. They eat you and spit them out. Kind of like the flowers in the planet Manera. When Starfy 3 gets translated, I am definitely going to be having Wario on there. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Wario time! But not yet. Pretty sure this is the wrong door. But great, now I have to find him again. Kong Kong, it's time for you to take. It's Kong time again. Get ready to for some serious Kong. Okay, so that wasn't the right door. Wait a minute, I was literally just here. Hey, you again? 
I don't have any beef with you. Quit bugging me. Squash her, boys. move on the snips. YouTube is a joke at times, but hey, at least they had that one W. Like the time they got rid of a nuisance on the internet that should have been, take, been taken care of a while ago. That's like their only true W at this point. But we shouldn't speak any more of him. But odds are he might come back almost as if nothing happened. Oh yeah, a two. Uh, this is like the two-week anniversary of his extinction. This is fine. Actually, it's the uh, two-week anniversary of his death. Because two week anniversary wasn't in your vocab, who knows? But regardless, thank God he's not here anymore. But knowing him, he'll probably come back around. Unfortunately, I still haven't. But as I said before, I'll I'll watch it after the stream. Kong, isn't it? Nope. Number four, Starly Edition. I think I missed the second one. Oh crap, the fire! It's rising! Oh crap! Ooh, 
<laughs> I just barely made it out alive. Eww! Damn, I just I just added in a hint of toad in there. That's what happens when you do a lot of voice impressions. Now this one's water-based. Starly's final battle. There's one more level, but oh shit. It's basically just a treasure room. He's a waste of purple sperm, that's what he is. that I know about him is the I will take you to the toilet and we took him to hell this is it Luigi down for the count.
Well, final boss with massive claws. But if it's for Star Starly, then yeah. Wow, it's almost three out three hours into the stream. The Royal Treasure Room. And the place is still on fire. It's a shame that you don't get the low spin until the third game. Only there purely to grind for pearls. Which I don't really need because I already have like a max amount of money. A max amount. I swear, this is going to be the last time we're doing a Big Boss Showdown. If you clear it fast enough, then you'll unlock World 10. Which is basically a time trial. Come on already. Fine, I'll play by your freaking rules. I would have already beaten this boss already, but man. Wait, I can just do this all over again. Just grab a pencil. Even Dorkly Mario agrees. Just pick up a pencil. Apes, give me what you got.
Do what? Wait for the icicle to just fall on uh, King Ping's head? Yeah, I learned that through a speed run. I have been slowly losing interest in the, like, AI as time went on, but I still will appreciate the voice AI. Specifically, Uber Duck and Fake You. This one's a bitch to deal with. Especially in the boss showdown. There we go. Hopefully I beat this fast enough that I unlock World 10, but if not, I'm going to end the stream anyway. King of Skill says, do it again.
I'm not doing World 10 for this one. Uh, thank you so much for tuning into this stream. Stay tuned for when I stream Yoshi's Island DS. Oh. <laughs>